we're approaching a point soon when the entire Cape Flats will be one big metropolitan area and we need ambassadors. And sometimes it's better not having people being your ambassadors, you have the natural animals talking for themselves. The Hunter project started in 2015 after it was noticed that the structure of the Strandfeld and especially this conserved area is changing into a thicket. In a city, often our ecosystems are broken. We used to have fires and then we also used to have flooding on the Cape Flats. And then thirdly was the mega herbivores. They've been absent for over 200 years. Due to the size, it's not possible to have a reintroduction, but to mimic that and have a earland herd that you can actually use as a felt management tool. And there's a great cultural affinity to Eland in the landscape. Eland walking for eons over the mountain carved a route out over the rocks. And so Hunter means the path of the Eland. I didn't know a thing about conservation. I started learning about conservation and the importance of conservation with Sati. My first connection to do conservation as a career was with TV, what I've seen on Natio, what I read in books, and that's what I wanted to do. The monitors were already in different development programs of Satit, and I could just see them growing into amazing adults. I went into the BOMA and started working on trust with them. Two days later, the monitors were in the BOMA and the Irland were eating out of their hands. We spent days with them, sitting in the BOMA with them, bottle feeding them, rubbing them, so that they feel we are part of them. Are you going to get the plants? We're going to greet the island and then we're going to get two different plant species to introduce them to certain plants that they don't eat. I'll be opening for these animals until they're at the research area. We'll let them roam and then we'll follow them. Come on, Mike. They're very hungry. The monitor's working with the island. These are the guys that are out there every day. Come rain, come wind, come sun, they are in the field with the animals every day. It's not an easy job, but I love being a part of such a project. Come on, Bernie. Bernie is spicy. She doesn't take nonsense, and that's me. Bernie is like a diva, excessive. And keeps his gentle. He is my favorite. He will bring a smile on your face. Seeing them grow, seeing the different personalities, that's quite amazing. We modern day shepherds. He doesn't let his flock stray. That's like part of his family. And the earlines, they're like part of my family also. What happens is they'll start grazing and we'll start recording every five minutes what they eat, what they feed on. When I see Elon back in our ecosystem, for me it's a huge aha moment when I see plants changing. We've seen paths opening up due to tramping and eating, so we've seen a lot more animal activity. Not only are the animals feeding on indigenous vegetation, they're also eating alien vegetation. We've seen big improvements. Come, 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 come! We've tried to train them so that we don't have to use drugs and limit stress. Let them browse, they do their thing for a few months and keep rotating them through Cape Town. To me, feeding an airland is like a dream come true. So I am excited because this is my first time seeing an airland. There's a lot of people that stays around here that doesn't know about the Hunter project. Most people come up to the fence, we didn't know this is here. You need to buy in from your local communities. You can't just put a fence around something and keep people out. You need to have them involved, understand what's happening. And that's, uh, I think, the way to go about especially urban conservation. We're taking up to the airline. The Irland definitely ambassadors, just not for themselves, but also for the vegetation types. With them being habituated, they create that hands-on experience where people can come in and interact with the Irland. Who can tell me who this one is? 
in the Rondeflow Nature Reserve, close to where the school kids stay. This might be the only wildlife that they see other than the TV. Now they can interact with nature. Why these animals are here and what their role is. To me, it's amazing because I live right here and I can just like ask my to take me drive and I can come visit the island. I think that we should protect our environment because if we harm our environment, our generations won't be able to see what we have seen. We as monitors can see the research is going well. When I grew up, I don't know what is it to come from school to sober parents. I did wrong stuff and I went to prison, I was punished for it and I had a chance of rectifying what I did wrong. I think to grow up as youth here and to find a spot where you can make a difference is not always easy. And I think they make a big difference going back into the communities to actually go show other youth that there's different things out there. Even though it's something small that we're doing, like one kid is inspired by the project and by the islands, it will keep that fire burning, that passion for conservation. We become who we choose to be. My life started when I work with City and I saw a bright future. I've been with them about two and a half years now. It's actually become quite a family, especially with Uniqua. It's more than just five Eland. It's a chance to connect people in a meaningful way to nature inside a city who are otherwise never going to get that chance. Cape Town Strandfeld is so close to my heart. I've fallen in love with it. It's up to us to follow our hearts to make a difference. Without nature, there is no us.